Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Biking Roots channel and our bike shop uh, here in Spring, Texas. If you're new to the channel, welcome. All right, so it's been a few weeks. Um, unfortunately, uh, me and the family got COVID and we knocked us out on our butts for almost two weeks and it was, it was, it stunk. Uh, anyway, luckily we're doing better. Um, haven't really gone for a ride since then, but in today's video, we're talking about upgrades. Uh, specifically, we're talking, uh, here's the Bobcat again. If you haven't seen the video on the Bobcat a couple videos ago, we reviewed this one as a great option for those just getting into mountain biking and don't want to break the bank. Um, this one, well, it was $699. Uh, Marin just had a price increase, unfortunately, and so now it's like 800 and something dollars. It used to be 700 bucks. Uh, the industry is crazy right now, as you guys know, and so all the, all the bike companies are raising prices. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to pay more for bike stuff for the next little bit, uh, which stinks, but that's the way it is. But as far as upgrades, in, that, in the first video, I was debating on what I was gonna upgrade first. Uh, was it gonna be the fork, or was I going to upgrade the drivetrain to a one by drivetrain with a clutch? You may be in a similar boat. Um, if you have a Bobcat, or maybe you have like a Trek Marlin, which is a popular one, or a specialized rock hopper, and your bike came with a two by drivetrain, and it also came with a Sun Tour fork, and so you're like, eh, I wanna upgrade something. What do I upgrade first? Uh, hopefully this video can maybe help you at least make one of those decisions. It's gonna be different for everyone. Uh, because I've ridden some nice suspension forks in the past, and on some of my other bikes, uh, the fork bothered me a lot. And so I'm gonna do the fork in this video and we're gonna take it for a ride on the same trail that we rode uh, originally. But some of you may not care as much about the fork and the drivetrain's bothering you. Maybe the front derailleur is going out of adjustment, which is very common. Um, and, or maybe you're getting just a lot of chain slap in the back and so you wanna do a drivetrain. Uh, if you want to do a drivetrain, the next video, we're going to do the drivetrain on this one. Um, that's going to be the next upgrade after the fork. But for this video, we're going to talk about forks. All right, so what fork are we going to use? We could throw this Marzocchi bomber on there. That's a $500 fork. The bike was 700 bucks, so probably not the best option unless you just want a super nice fork. All right, now we are actually going to be installing a RockShock fork. So which RockShock fork to install? Well, the one we like, and if you haven't seen, I did a video about one of these forks a while back last year about the RockShock Judy. So these run about 169 to 179 bucks. All right, here she is, the Judy. Uh, this is a great beginner fork. So you have an uh, air fork. It's not the lightest, but it's gonna be so much more, uh, smoother than your Suntour fork. Uh, come in different travel lengths. If you are a 27.5 person, uh, you have two travel options, 100 or 120 millimeters of travel. Uh, if you have a 29er, they have 100 millimeter options, only 100 millimeter. And that's a straight steer because your head tube is a straight steer. So you need a, if you have a straight steer and you have a quick release, this is going to work for you because you got quick release, 100 millimeters here and you have a straight steer tube. Most beginner bikes are going to have like a straight steer these days. Some will have like a tapered. Uh, which you could use if you have an, a headset or lower cup adapter, you could still use a straight steer, but most beginner bikes are still gonna be a straight head tube. And so these forks will work. And then you, they usually aren't through axles or boost spacing. So you, you're just gonna have a, a nine by a hundred millimeter quick release. So if you're on a budget, this is what we're gonna install, 169 bucks, uh, Judy Air Fork. If you want, uh, oh, and this has 30 millimeter stanchions. So these guys here, that's 30 millimeters. So it's fine for most people, but if you're a bigger guy or maybe you want just a nicer fork that's a little bit better, you could go and spend 250 bucks and get the RockShock Recon, which is a nice fork. Um, main difference between the Recon and the Judy is these stanchion diameters. These are 32 millimeters. So it's, it's stiffer fork than the Judy. Uh, so a little bit better. Uh, but you're also paying 250 bucks versus $169. All right, so those are a couple options. Um, there are other options other than that, the Manitou Markor. I'll include a link below for my last video, which goes a little bit more in depth on some of your other options as far as uh, budget forks. Um, this video, we're just kind of talking a little bit about it and then uh, riding on, on the trail. So 
All right, time to install this fork. Say goodbye to the Sun Tour. Sun Tour is out of here. All right, Sun Tour is off. Sucker's heavy. Okay, so we're at 6.35 pounds. All right, let's weigh the Judy and see how much weight we're saving here. So Judy, so we have to cut the steer tube and put in a star nut for those that notice that. 4.6. Okay. Hey, that's uh, Pound almost two pounds off. Yeah. <laughs> almost two pounds off the front end with the Judy. So that's a good weight savings from Mr. Bobcat. Now the funnest part of a fork install is removing the crown rays. <laughs> I hate moving the crown rays. Uh, can't we just do a new headset? All right. The Bobcat is done. I like it. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, it's going to be even better out on the trail. Right here you have your little air port where you can put in, uh, you have your valve so you can set your appropriate uh, pr air pressure for your weight. And over here you have your compression and lockout. So all the way to the right is locked out. It's almost closing time here. We're not going to be able to ride it today unfortunately, but in the morning we are going to ride. So that's the plan tomorrow morning. We'll take it for a ride back at Timberlane and see how she performs out on the trail. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. No! Well, actually, like in an hour, so. It's gonna rain tomorrow morning? No, like in an hour. In an hour? That's now, and then at five o'clock. So, I guess 20 minutes, really. Get that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the story of our life. So, it rains a lot here in Houston, and uh, we may not be able to ride tomorrow. Why do you have to tell me that? Oh. All right, so it didn't rain this morning or last night, so we are riding today. So we got Tim here. Hey. Tim is was found and is riding. And we got, what do you got today, Tim? Your hot kill? Hot kill too. This thing's filthy. What happened? Um, I rode on Saturday and I haven't been able to clean it. So you put your bike away dirty and haven't cleaned it for a week. You know, the way you make it sound is worse than it is. It is worse, it is bad. Okay, you like never clean your bikes. That is not true. You're I right, clean I my clean bikes. your bikes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He, does, he cleans my bikes, which they are very clean right now, by the yeah, way. Yeah, so thank you. You're welcome. But this, this is unacceptable. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, poor bike. I laid this down in the last video. Uh, on about accident, a week or so. so ago. Hopefully, I don't have any shifting problems. All right, Bobcat is ready to go. Test out the new Judy fork. So yeah, it should be much smoother than last time. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun ride, so. We're gonna get going. Ooh, maybe Tim will clear all the spider webs. Probably not, I'll probably have to clear them. Oh, squirrel, ah! Get out of the trash. Uh, oh. ah. <laughs> this way, do you wanna lead? All right, let's see what the bobcat. Ah, spider again, dang it. That's why I want you to lead. That's why I'm leading, you punk. Ah, more spiders. This is going to be spider ride. What's hanging? Spiders? You can see it? Yeah. There's a spider hanging on my handlebars? Oh my gosh, there is. <laughs> uh, I need like a stick in front of me. My spider, spider cleaner. <laughs> All right, I don't recommend this. All right, there's too many spiders. So I have to do this. There we go. Oh gosh, all right, I need two hands. Ah. Oh. Ah. All right, stick isn't working. <laughs> oh gosh, it was right in the face. All right, you need to go in front for a while. Okay. You agree, okay. <laughs> I cleared about 15 of them, so Tim's tired of going slow. <laughs> Oh yeah, suspension is so much better. Was it? I didn't feel it at all. Thank you, sir. Oh, hey deer. <laughs> the deer right there. It's going too fast. Don't go over. <laughs> <laughs> really? In your mouth? <laughs> nice. They're tiny little spiders. Most of them. The rebound is so much better on the shocks. 
on the rock shock versus the centaur. Oh, turtle. Hang on, turtle. Tim almost mowed him down. Hey. Looks familiar. Hello, little box turtle. Move you to this side. All right, see you later, turtle. Tim's probably lost now. All right, Tim, what are you complaining about? Um, my waterproofing webbing on my helmet. Oh yeah, webs. I even caught a gnat right there. Caught a gnat, web, web, web. It's all web. over. Web. Just, how did they get on the back? Web, because when they hit, they came here and then they crawled down here and said, hey, this is a good spot. So they're in my hair right now? They're, they could be in your hair. Oh my God. Back. So I'm laughing, but I haven't checked mine. Yeah, mine's not as bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got webs here. All right here. here. It looks like it's been sitting in the garage for three here. <laughs> wow. What's that sound? All right, we're gonna keep riding, and hopefully, maybe someone will ride in front of us, and they'll clear the spider webs. <laughs> All right, one by is coming next. Deal with this nonsense. Oh, front derailers. I hate them. <laughs> Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh no! Oh! I almost had it. Alright, here we go. Ah. We got this. We got it. It's, we got it. Ah. No, I don't got it. Don't kill yourself. Don't go too fast. Oh jeez, maybe too fast. Oh, right here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, better than the last time with the sun tour. Wee. Oh. So I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can tell me what kind of car this is, Tim. Uh, you get two guesses. It's one of the old Camaros. Old Camaro? Yeah. Definitely not an F-150. <laughs> F-150? I said I'm joking. Oh my goodness. Tim doesn't know cars so well. I don't. I really don't. F-150. <laughs> Do I have to answer today or can I do some research? No research. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks to go home Lord and do research. Oh my gosh, all right, you're Lord. done. He's done. Lord. Anyway, back to bikes. So talking about the Bobcat, uh, it has been so much better with the fork. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm noticing the drivetrain more now, but uh, yeah, the front end is so much smoother. Uh, Judy does a good job for the price. Yes, there's lighter ones. Yes, there's smoother ones out there, but not for 170 bucks. Uh, I haven't found any. If you know of any that are better than the Judy for less than 200 bucks, comment below because I'd be willing to try. Ooh, I wish they'd just spec it on the bike, but obviously for price, it would be more expensive. Want to switch bikes, Tim? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he likes I full suspension. He's snobby now. He doesn't like hardtails anymore. Right. He'll ride them. He's just, he's a that, right? full suspension snob now. Kind of. All right, we're gonna keep riding. We got some more trail to ride and then we'll wrap it up. Get in your 52. <laughs> Easy. Oh, my legs are tired. <laughs> Whoa, big spider on the right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was massive. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, quiet those brakes. Tim was using his brakes so much that he overheated them. <laughs> just kidding. He, We're good. He doesn't know how to brake. <laughs> just kidding. They were just noisy. We got a little bit more to ride, um, the jump section. Mm -hmm. And so that's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, as I mentioned, uh, this is, was part two of probably three videos, maybe more, we'll see. Uh, next video, we're going to do the drivetrain upgrade to the one by. And so if you want to see that video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well out there on the trails. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. If you guys have any questions or comments about forks or about the Bobcat or good beginner upgrades, comment below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. All right, thanks guys. Take care.
Yeah, I didn't think.